All right, so this time we got the screaming antelope, and we'll see if I can get this done and the phoenix maybe today. But I'm gonna start on him. Looks like he's on the same sprue as the intimacy miniatures, so I'm gonna try to leave it so that those aren't on here. And then it looks looks like the king's men or the hand. Uh, I think it's the hand. But I'm just gonna do the screaming antelope for now. Those are the two parts of the body and this is the tail. And then I've got some horns it looks like. These these are not numbered, but you should be able to see. There's a hoof right here and I think a horn. Yeah. Putting the parts down there. Yeah. There's a leg. And a horn. Yep, and the other horn is already on the on the piece, so. Just trying to see if there's anything else. Probably another hoof. Or is it literally that easy? There's probably something I've forgotten on the sprue, but we'll see in a second. All right, again, cleaning up the bits left over from the sprue. Make sure to do that on all the pieces. This is one that you're going to have to really uh, make sure to stick onto the base. Uh, what you'll probably end up having to do is pin it. Just because it's in this like leaping pose. And this mold line, it's really easy to scrape this one. You just go straight up. Line straight down the middle too here. Which means there's probably one back here, but I can't see it in all the fur, so there's one out the back of the leg. Now this one's gonna be interesting because it looks like it doesn't have any fur on it except the top. So I'll see when I paint it, I'll see if I can do like um, uh, muscle and sinew. That should be interesting. So actually, the they're like teeth here. This whole row of teeth has a has a mold line, which is a pity. But I guess you can't be perfect. I'm not sure I really want to fix this mold line, but probably need to. That's the question. How much detail am I going to lose by doing it? Not sure. Looks like my finger's working pretty good, though. My fingernail. It's a pretty sharp mold line, so I might be able to just slowly scrape it off like that. One tooth at a time. Yeah, it's working. Then I can have more control over what I'm filing down. It's just gonna look, well, it's not gonna look too weird. Like maybe double teeth or deformed or maybe like a weird molar or something. It's not gonna be too bad if you just left it, but I'm gonna try to clean up a little bit. Uh, another thing you can do, because they're all rounded teeth, you can totally just uh, put in more, put more paint on them than you need to for a base coat, so. There are ways to get around it without messing up. two sides together and see see what I get no nope, it's pretty cool it's actually really a nice oh nice 
I'll, uh, I'll have to fill that out in a bit, Four Color. I, uh, I did mine. I think I got way more than most people, though. But then again, I go through a lot, so... I had, like, a big tube of it. And it looks like, yeah, there are two giant mold lines right up the back here. But uh, when, when they're painted, that shouldn't be bad. Like, there's the gap right in the middle, but then there's a mold line here and a mold line there. But I think it should be fine. Uh, just be aware on the back of the legs. That's the one that's going to be most noticeable. There's another one on the back of this leg, too. So I'm going to glue that together. More plastic glue. Alright, so now with the plastic glue, it's gap filling again. So I'm really squishing it together. I'm trying to make sure that it's lined up where it needs to be. Especially right back here. Where the tail goes so I'm actually gonna go grab that and make sure okay clean that up a little bit double check the mold lines again Nice, yeah, I kind of forgot about that uh, Bondek Kickstarter just because it was going for so long. Again, with the gap filling, I'm just doing a little bit on the edge here. Okay, there's one horn that I gotta attach. And it's got a pretty substantial mold line, so I'm gonna try to clean that up a little bit. Uh, I will probably, unfortunately, for the painting tutorials, well, I'm going to do them here regardless, but they're probably going to be, looks like there's something here, ears, that's what I'm missing is ears, uh, but the monster painting tutorials will probably be on, uh, just on Patreon. I need something that needs to be Patreon exclusive, and that's probably going to be it. Although, if I'm an idiot, like I am, and I don't center his head and glue them together, then I have to break them apart. I noticed on his face that it wasn't quite centered, so I had to break it apart. Fortunately, I had a little bit of time before the plastic truly fused together, so I could break him. So now, I have to be double careful. So I'm glad I'm making the mistakes so you guys don't. <laughs> them together now. Oh, it's okay asking back. The, the building tutorials will go up on YouTube. Uh, it's the painting stuff that won't, uh, for the monsters that won't be. I gotta have something for, I gotta have something for the, uh, for the patrons on Patreon. been very lax in that unfortunately okay gonna fill that gap a little bit so I poured a little bit in there and then brushed most of it off 
fill that gap in his forehead. Again with the tail. <coughs> that part I got right the first time. Uh, but I will start uh, streaming twice a day on weekdays. I gotta redo the schedule because I need my weekends, unfortunately. But uh, that doesn't mean I won't stream on the weekends. It just means I probably won't, or uh, I don't. I don't want to be held to a schedule on weekends. Um, but I will start streaming more in the morning like this, then taking a break during the day, and then streaming again in the evening. So. Big mold line back here. There we go. It took a little while to clean up, but I got it. Although, if I can figure out a good tutorial for Patreon, then I'll focus on a, on a really awesome tutorial for Patreon. And actually take the time and not stream it, but do um, a nice... 4k recording for it instead that's what i'll probably do just do that instead figure out a really cool thing to paint and just do it okay so he's just missing his ears now which should be on here somewhere yep they're there right here like little rabbit ears It'll actually be fun putting those Phoenix together here in a minute. Okay. Question is, which ear goes where? Not look like it. That does. I don't know if that's right or not. Looks that way. Or I'm totally wrong. Nope, I'm not totally wrong. It's still weird though, like. Trying to trying to make it fit. Looks like there's a little bit too much on this. If there, if I cut a little too much off and there's a slight gap, I can fill that with the plastic glue or even a little super glue. about right. Just a little. Looks like it'll be a tight fit, so I'm just going to do a little in his ear. Or in the hole that, you know, the peg hole that the ear goes into. I might actually, uh, one thing I recommend keeping at the desk too is, uh, is like a clamp, a hobby clamp. Or stuff like this. So if you can't quite get it, big in one area don't know which again just scrape a little off try again it's definitely the correct spot so that helps I think it's this one corner up here this one area towards his eye a little too wide. I think it's giving me trouble. Yep, 
Yep, that's much better. Oops. Well, there goes his tail. Okay, I need my fingers. But now you know, put the ears in first. <laughs> I left it till last and it's coming back to bite me. No pun intended with his open, open stomach. Uh, right now they're waiting for uh, for when they're charging shipping on wave one. They're still wait. He's still waiting on getting the whole batch done. Uh, right now they've got two shipments on the way from China. It's on boats. So once that happens, then then I then I'd worry. But it's still a ways out. September October ish. So you got a little bit of time. Okay, looks pretty good to me. Maybe a little off, but not by much. Again, the plastic glue is really good for gap filling. And it should help soften out these edges too. There we go. Pretty good. And then this one should be right like that. Yeah, these ears aren't quite right, are they? I think this one's just because there's a little bit left over from the sprue. Let's try it again. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, next year I think what I'll do uh, for color is get questions from you guys. Because I had questions that were mine, but I didn't think about questions that you guys are asking. So, I don't, uh, so I'll, I'll get questions from everybody for next year, and then that'll give me an idea, rather than uh, just going in blind. <laughs> so. Yeah, see, there's this little gap. I don't know if you can see it. There's this gap right there like that. And so I'm just going to have to fudge it. Uh, you can do a lot with paint and and glue to fill gaps like that. Like right here, the gaps can pretty much be filled by the plastic glue. And any leftover can be filled with uh, paint when I actually get paint, started painting it. And then again, that tail... Once the tail's on, I'll be done. <laughs> Building these for the first time is quite interesting. There we go. He's done. One screaming antelope. All right, now it's on to the phoenix. 